I had an amazing uh, evening last night. Um, evening last night where we went to the beach, did barbecue with... Um, there were four nurses there, uninjected, uh, three nurses there, actually there were four, four nurses there that were uninjected that were fired in BC, Canada, right? Their partners and a couple of other people that were in other lines of work, right? And their partners that uh, n none of them injected, none of them injected all of them awake know what's going on know about the wf know about the elections know everything right one of the reasons we got together with them is because in british columbia canada the ndp government just came out and lifted the mandates for healthcare workers remember the ndp government the government in british columbia canada is the only government in the world that still had injection mandates for healthcare workers right until like two days ago or yesterday right so they lifted it why did they lift it because elections are coming up in a, like three or four months right and the conservative party the party that's challenging them right that never pulled more than five percent at best at best right is now pulling a 30 percent and increasing dramatically right so the NDP is scared shitless because they might lose the elections I don't think they're gonna lose the elections because we still have way too many woke low IQ little red rats that live here that haven't figured out that you know what they're having hard problems because they might have done something nasty right they're they're getting tingles in their fingers because they might have done something nasty they're low on energy because they might have done some nasty right they lost some loved ones had to go funerals or watch the funerals live streaming because they couldn't go on funerals because they, because they did something nasty right so people are slowly starting to wake up to this and they're going whoa 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 whoa, whoa. and then they're going to the hospital and realizing oh wow the healthcare system in British Columbia, Canada, and all of Canada really has completely, utterly, completely collapsed. They're going to the hospital, emergency room, and they're having to wait 12 hours. Right? My mother went there two years ago. They sent her home with a with a with a with a, a, a punctured appendix, and then they did. They, they called her back. Said, "Come back, come back. We need to do emergency." Completely collapsed. Completely annihilated right so people are getting pissed so these people came back and this government ndp fascistic government came back and lifted the mandates they're trying to get more nurses more doctors more healthcare workers to go back into the healthcare system to relieve the pressure a little bit right some nurses will go back some doctors will go back some healthcare professionals will go back because they were completely financially annihilated we knew a nurse that was living in a car 20 year veteran nurse that was living in a car because the government fired her and annihilated her finances right and not we knew we knew people that had to sell their houses right family pressure unbelievable right as far as i'm concerned the people who did this well we know what i think right we got a little symbol on on our gilded server that we use that in my humble opinion that's what should the end result be after a full investigation bringing back capital punishment look into their finances lock them up put a trial you know jury trial make sure they get due process right but these mofos sobs just came out and lifted the mandates because they want to get it re-elected right so there is a lot going on there is a lot going on but last night at the beach, it was beautiful seeing the pressure lifted from four nurses that were fired, just brutalized, abused for the last four years. And through this connection, we know people that didn't want to get their injections, but they couldn't afford not to work, right? That kids, they had to feed their kids, keep their home, pay rent right so they went and got injections while they were crying right so all these woke sobs that supported these mandates they they supported raping when most of the nurses 
violating women's bodies and men's bodies because they were crying while they got injections to be able to work no quarter given no amnesty no effing amnesty right that's where i come from right i hope people appreciate that 